This is the great legend. I'm coming at you live in front of the great legends arcade people. And this is the video of the century. As you know, the great legend Shim Howard here, coming at you live like I love to do. I have everything that I need right here. You know, on this arcade machine, the machine the legend built, I have over 600 games, people. 600 games. How many games do you have? Hmm, probably not 600, but that's okay, people. Today, I'm going to show you some of the games of the arcade machine. Now, this year is about to end, so this will probably be the Great Legends last video of 2010. But we're getting up on into 2011 and I've got some good stuff to show you. Like for instance, I'm going to be doing some things with my arcade machine to make it bigger, better than ever. So you got to love that. What I have now is a screensaver of all my games. So just look at the screensaver. Maybe you've seen a couple you may recognize, you know, because it's all good. What I want to show you today, we're going to talk about history of arcade, history of gaming. Okay? This game does not work. But we're going to talk about the history of gaming. Here you are, fans. You're in the 80s, the 1980s. And what do you have? You go to the arcades. You want to play some games. So you pop in some quarters. You bring your roll of quarters that you stole from your grandma's house. Or maybe you took some money out of your offering envelope at church and you said, I'm going to take a couple quarters and go drop them down, play some Pac-Man. Well, today I'm going to show you some things. We've got the arcade right here. Coming at you live, keeping it legit. It's the only way I do it. Now, here's what we're going to do. In the 1980s, arcade gaming was in its golden age. And there was five most popular games of all time being played in the arcades. The first one, Defender. Great game. One of the top five games of all time. Now, camera person, if you come over here on my left, which is now your right, you want to see this action. I want to show you some Defender. Now, kind of zoom out, kind of keep it real on a diagonal angle. You know, maybe get me a little bit on the game here. So, folks, actually, you know, when you went to the arcades, what did I tell you? I brought some quarters with you. Get a hold, get a hand of that. Now, watch the action when I put it in my coin machine. There we go, people. Let's start it up. The Fender. One of the top five all-time best games of the 1980s. Defender by Williams. You know, this is one of the best games of all time. And I'm going to show you the other four in a minute. See, they can't mess with what they can't touch. Oh, hello. <laughs> Old school. But this is Defender. One of the classic games. A lot of games will come from this Defender. You ever heard of a game you play on your Xbox 360 called Aegis Wing? Well, that game originates from this game right here, Defender, people. One of the first games of its type uses some vector graphics. Look at the terrain. Look at those mountains. You see that? Where are you going to go, people? What are you going to do? You going to play Gears of War? No, you're going to be playing Defender. Game over. So that was one of the games. Let me go to one of the other games. This one, if you don't remember Defender... Of course, Defender came out in 1980, but if you don't remember Defender, you may remember this game coming up right here. We have Galaga, another classic game by Midway. Let me tell you about Midway. They love spaceships, flying, all that kind of fun stuff. You know, that's why they make a lot of, like, flying games, Midway. They're classic. So we're going to pop in some quarters. We're going to play a little, uh, little Galaga. Get me getting these. Let me let me show them. I'm popping some quarters in right here. Look at look at that. See that quarter? You got that? It's George Washington, people. If you didn't know, read your textbook. Oh hell! Fucking eighties. Oh come on. Oh. Come on. Okay, we'll do this coin. There we go, bastards. All right, here we go. Midway, people.
This is what it's all about. This is Galaga. Now, this is the Great Legend. This is one of my dad's favorite games. Great Legend's father, 66 years old, he likes playing him some Galaga. And you're getting it here today, people. Great Legend playing Galaga. Is there any other place you'd rather be than sitting in front of your computer on YouTube.com watching the Great Legend play Galaga? No, there ain't nowhere you want to be. The best place for you to be is in your seat. Watching the legend playing Galaga. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Double me up. No! All right, you're going to die then. All right, here we go. Galaga, people. Oh, man. That's all right, though. Top five games. Freaking Galaga. Game over. Quick. All right, so that's what they did in the 80s. They took your money and they laughed at you. Now, the next two games, they're kind of like a husband and wife combo, you know? And we're going to go to the wife combo of this game. The game is called none other than Miss Pac-Man. A lot of you may remember this game from the 80s. Let's see if this thing's going to work. Okay. Have no fear, people. You know, back in the 80s, when you had a problem with games, when the games took your money, took your quarters. Come on now. Take the connection there. Come on. Move these wires. See see what, what it takes. Look at all the wires. Look at all the action. If you believe it, Shimp Howard built this machine. There we go. That ought to get it. Got a quarter in? Let's roll with it. This is Miss Pac-Man. Look at that stick right there. 20 year anniversary stick for Miss Pac-Man and Galaga. Using it today, people. 20 year reunion stick. Now this red stick is a four way joystick, people. The four way sticks were very popular back in the 1980s. Uh oh. It's time to gobble gobble. Look at that perfection. You can't beat it, people. Miss Pac-Man. Coming at you live. Compliments of the great legend. Can't beat what you can't see. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Watch this, people. You can't they no lie. This is the great legend, and I'm playing Miss Pac-Man. Coming at you live from the Great Legends headquarters. In your face! Look at that! Miss Pac-Man people. You can't beat it. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here. You gotta love the old school. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and escape that. And then you know, the other game I wanna show you. We're going over our top five games of the arcade golden age of arcade gaming. We've gone through Defender. We've gone through Galaga. We've gone through Miss Pac-Man. And now we're taking it to the regular Pac-Man. Another game by Midway. Midway was pretty popular back then. You know, a lot of people ask the great legend. It's great legend, great legend. Oh, I didn't put a quarter in, did I? I got free play play up. All right, so anyway, we got Pac-Man here. A lot of people ask the great legend, great legend, what happened to the arcade? Because a lot of you viewers are kind of young. You were born in the 90s. You don't remember much about the golden age of arcade gaming in the 1980s because you weren't alive in the 1980s, people. Oh, man, I didn't get that popped. I didn't, couldn't pop that cherry. Woo. All right, here we go. Let's get some of this. Eat some pellets here. But they say, what happened to the arcades, people? And I'll tell you what happened. Back in 1980, you know, the home arcade, I mean, the home gaming consoles were coming to people's homes. They had the Atari 2600. Some of the old fogies may remember that. They had the Mattel in television. And those were pretty good, but they were only the beginning people. They couldn't, they were good. They, they had games like Pac-Man. Galaga, you know all the games you remember and love, but they also had 
<laughs> they did, but what they didn't have was the good graphics of what the arcade has. So we fast forward. 1985. Nintendo Entertainment System, people. Comes out in 1985 with this classic game you also know and love. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers was so popular in 1985 that uh, you would even see it on the arcades. You know, you would you would see a game made by Nintendo that came out in 1985 resurface in 1986 on the arcade system. So right there you see that the folks at Nintendo had it right because they was going they were they were doing things well before their time. You know, the classics. So this came out in 1986. And it was a good game. Now, a lot of people remember this little pipe right here. Maybe it was this pipe. Was it? Was it that pipe? Maybe not. Maybe it was this pipe. Come on, get in there. Oh, remember this? Okay, so we're getting out of our, our rhythm here. Let's get out of this game. What we're going to do, we're going to show you the number one game of the golden age of the arcade. And get this, people. 2011 is almost upon us. This game came out in 1981 by a small Japanese company called Nintendo. You know what the game is? Yeah. You do. This is the game. Donkey Kong, people. And for this game, I'm putting in one of the Great Legends quarters right there. If you want one of these quarters, just send me $20 to PayPal and I'll give you a certificate of authenticity that this quarter was actually put in the Great Legends machine and you will get a Great Legend quarter with certificate of authenticity. There we go. Check it out, people. Celebrate this glorious occasion of me being the Great Legend. I have my own arcade machine, which I will be updating. I'll tell you about the updates here in a minute. January 18th, people. Saturday, January 18th. All you need, you need a Netflix account. You need an Xbox Live Gold membership. And you know what you're going to get, people? All you need to do is send me a message through YouTube telling me your favorite arcade game and what you love about arcade games. Maybe you grew up playing one of your favorite arcade games. Maybe you were a child of the 90s. Maybe you remember playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Maybe you ran around in your underoos with Ninja Turtles on them and you just want to play some games. You know, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna have a great night. So you have Netflix, you have a gold account, you get send me Great Legend a message. I'm gonna uh, read the message in my next video, and you are gonna be cordially invited to watch the King of Kong Fistful of Quarters on Netflix with the Great Legend Shim Power. What's going on, people? I'm taking five entries. Five entries, people. Now, two entries are going to be totally random entries. They could be saved for VIPs. They could just be completely random people. But five of you will give me what you, will give me an entry through a private message on YouTube. And with that entry, maybe you'll be the one to watch The King of Kong Saturday, January 18th with the great legend Shimp Howard. We're going to be coming at you live. And, oh, that's coming at you hot right there. Hot on the, on the, yeah. Okay, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about, people. Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. Defender, Galaga, the top five games, arcade games of the golden age of arcade. And Super Mario Brothers. Well, Super Mario Brothers was in 1986, Nintendo, and that was, that's the golden age if you're talking about the Nintendo Entertainment System. But this is the games that started all. Now, let me tell you quickly about the downfall. The downfall occurred you know, a little bit when Nintendo came out with the Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> the downfall, people. Nintendo Entertainment System. <sighs> but then when the 90s hit, 1991, a 
console called the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis came out. Actually, Genesis was out a little before the Super Nintendo. Because I wanted a Super Nintendo when I was little. Don't worry about the time, people. YouTube's got long. We got long time to go on this episode. That's fine. I got extra time on YouTube because my videos are so popular. So we got one more life here on Donkey Kong. So remember, January 18th, we're going to be watching uh, King of Kong. Maybe you'll be one of those uh, five entries. I knew I couldn't jump that, stupid hammers. So people, that's what we're going to do. I got another life. Okay, don't worry about that. We're just going to... Can we run off the edge? No. Let's just go talk to Donkey Kong up here. Use my four-way stick, people. Yeah, you're running to Donkey Kong, you die. So that's Donkey Kong, man. You can't, you can't go wrong with the Kong. So yeah, this is my arcade, people. Now, in 2011, one of my things I'm going to be working on is I'm going to be um, ordering me a smoked piece of Lexan. Lexan is another name for plexiglass, but Lexan is a strong polycarbonate um, see-through kind of glass. You see it in airplanes on the windows to keep you alive. But anyways, people, I'm putting that up, and it's going to be gray light 14. That's going to let 14% light come through that glass. So when you have the glass there, all you're going to see, you won't even see my bezel here. You're going to see just the screen floating in blackness. You can't beat that, people. That's going to be looking cool. Also, this here, this um, is called a front end, people. This is what I use to select my games. You know, I've got three emulators on here. I kind of zoom out a little bit. You'll get the whole feel. There you go. I got 488 games. This is called MAME. This is multiple multiple arcade machine emulator. You know, I've got all kinds of stuff. Look at there. We got NBA Jam, Hang Time, all that kind of good stuff. We have your um, we got some of your favorites, people. You know you people on Xbox Live. You like to um, buy games on Xbox Live. Well, see, people, I don't... If I've already got Ninja Turtles on here, I'm not going to buy it on Xbox Live. I tell my, try to tell my friends that. You know, one of the ones y'all all bought um, not too long ago was this game right here. We're going to take a quick look at this. See what you think about this game. What are we up to on minutes here? 18. 18 minutes? Okay. You you all remember this game. I have a two-player version of this game because I have a two-player cabinet. I have a four-player version of this game where I could plug in two USB Xbox 360 controllers. And if I really wanted to... Oh, yeah, that's nice. You like my colors? Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about the control panel a little in another episode. But... What I got going on, this is a two-player um, cabinet. Now you're asking, well, Grey Ledge and Grey Ledge, and why does it have three sticks? Well, this 20-year anniversary stick is the exact same as this eight-way stick. So when you're the first player, you can play with the four-way stick for your old games or the eight-way stick for your new games, like Street Fighter and all that. These three buttons here do the same thing the three three buttons do, red, yellow, blue. So let's go ahead and let's play a little bit of this action. Here we go. Wolverine. This is the game. This is the same game y'all bought for 800 Microsoft points. I wouldn't have bought uh, this game for 800 points, to tell you the truth, because me and my wife and my buddy Hank, we played through this game, and yeah, I just don't know I would pay ten dollars for this game. But uh, whoa! Look at that! Oh my God! Look at those! Look at those power! Did you see that power? Whoa! never seen freaking Wolverine do that in his whole life. I'm kind of amazed there. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have paid, uh, I don't know, I just wouldn't have paid for that game. But anyways, you got X-Men there. Now, one game I want to show you real quick. This game right here. Coming at you live, people, just like how I do it. Remember January 18th for the um, King of Kong um, viewing party with the great legend Shimp Howard. I'm going to show you this game right here. This was a classic game. As you can see, I'm not popping in any more quarters because I'm saving my money. But you press this blue button up here for your credit. 
the blue button up here for the second player credit. These four buttons here, they're admin buttons. I can pause. I can hit the tab button to enter in my menu of any game. Then I can go to the enter menu. I can change buttons on the fly, whatever I want to do. This last button here is my escape button. I'm not going to do that. But you know, people, that's what it's all about. I roll, you know, the thing about this game, the thing that hacks me off about this game, there's no iron chic. I'm, I'm a chic kind of guy. I like my chic. Nikolai Volkov's not in here either. But we'll use the old Hulk Hogan, American made. You know, he's cool. Let's go. And his tag team partner, Juan. Million Dollar Man, I guess. Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. So, yeah. You know, a lot of you folks out there have always wanted this game. Ooh, look at the Sarge. Sergeant Slaughter. Everyone remembers him. Oh, he just gave me a little knee to the gut there. You gotta love the Hulkster. Let's pin that fool. Nope. The action. You got Jake the Snake. And this, uh, who's this other guy? Sergeant Slaughter. It's got me in the sleeper hole, people. Look at that, the moves, man. You gotta love the legend. Let's give this guy a leg drop. Uh, I wanna give my leg drop to this guy. I'm gonna put the sleeper on him. Uh oh, he's tagging in Jake the Snake. Oh, looky there. Jake the Snake, boy. There it is. Leg drop. Bam! Let's pin him. Oh, what a cheap, cheap bastard. This thing is broken down. <laughs> Jake the Snake would never kick out of a leg drop. That's all I'm trying to say, people. Dude, Jake, the snake's really rocking my world right now. Oh man, he charged, tagged in the slaughter. Whoa, Sergeant Slaughter. Well, that's a hell of a lot of body right there. Oh, looks like I lost that one, people. That's all. Well, that's about all the time we have for today, people. Actually, what are we up to on minutes now? Almost 23. 23 minutes? Almost. All right. Well, real quick, we're gonna show you my other emulators. All right, here we go. We're going to go to an alternate menu. We're going to select the platform. I have an emulator named Daphne. Daphne, of course, is the name of, I think his name's Dirk. Is that his name? Is that that guy's name? You remember him? Dirk? Remember that picture there? You going to get that? Oh, yeah. This is Dragon's Lair, people. This emulator is called Daphne. It's a good emulator. It's a classic. It's a black screen because it's loading, but it's classic. You gotta love it. It's just a black screen. But yeah, I've got an emulator called Daphne that plays a lot of laser disc games. I also have another laser disc emulator that I made myself. Well, I got myself, but it has a lot of good stuff on it. It's called uh, the American Laser Games, and I can show you some of that here in a little while. But it's all good. We're gonna make this puppy about 30 minute or we're gonna see if we can roll with 30. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Here we go. Get the get the game. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure. This game took a lot of quarters. Here we go. Dragon's Lair. Use four-way stick on this. Look at the graphics. Did you know that came out in the 80s? You got that scene done. That's just two right clicks there. I don't really remember this one. And there you go, dead. That's okay though. Oh, get burned. Okay, come on. Ah, I remembered that one. Dragon's Lair. Coming at you live, right here. Some people try to actually go for that 
Guess what? Oh, they died. Well, that's Dragon's Lair. Yeah, it's a great game. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I should have swung the sword. Game over for that. So that's Dragon's Lair, and I have a lot of other games, like you may remember uh, Space Ace. Some of those games, they're, they're classic. Um, I won't show you the American Laser games today, and uh, but I will show you one other little game real quick. This game, I don't have in my front end, but I'll show, uh, show you what it's all about real quick. As you can see, this is just a Windows background here. Because my emulator, my operating system for my arcade machine is none other than Windows XP. I'm going to go old school. Here's how I roll with it. I hold it like this. Sound pretty good to you? Holding it like, like a real G. Look at this. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> Who believes that shit anymore? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, great legend coming at you live. This game takes two quarters. You getting this? Kill him, kill him. Let's go. Okay. Oops. Sorry, technical difficulties there. Okay. Okay, we may actually... Uh... I need to pause. Yeah, pause the video here. I'm sorry. This is the great legend coming at you live outside this house here. Something's going on. Oh my goodness, a zombie. This is House of the Dead, people. I'm your great, I'm your host. I'm the great legend, Shim Howard. Welcome to the great legend show. This is, um, actually, you know what we're going to do with this? This is going to be a, a deleted scene. Maybe lost footage. Oh, hell, he had to go. This is lost footage. Welcome to the deleted extra scene, people. I'm playing House of the Dead. Coming at you live. Keeping it real. Keeping it legit. Always coming at you live. That's right, people. House of the Dead. Hey, don't just get the screen. Get the gun here. I, I got the gun. Hold, get me doing it like this. I shot that bird. Oh yeah, coming at you live, people. Damn. Swamp thing. <laughs> That's right. Look at this guy. I saved you. Thank you. You're welcome. He gives me an extra life. Uh oh, maggots. Oh man, those are gross. Oh man. Well, it looks like that's the end of that one. People remember, January 18th, 2011, we're going to be celebrating 30 years of Donkey Kong. Can't beat it. Have your Netflix account, have your gold Xbox Live account. You're going to get to be watching the video with me, the great legend Shimp Howard. That's all we have for tonight. Peace out and God bless.